Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Anybody here remember Bonnet and Crossbeak? They were two California gray whales that got trapped up at Barrow, Alaska, 60 miles from the Arctic Ocean, helpless. It all began from the compassion of a handful of Eskimos who didn't want the whales to perish without uh, uh, an ocean in which to swim and to find their way down south. One man wrote of it this way. The Eskimos hauled their chainsaws and dragged long poles to the site and began to gouge out ice holes, enabling the whales to breathe en route to open water. Interest in the project intensified once it caught the attention of the media. Other volunteers joined in the rescue efforts. Because the original plan wasn't working fast enough, enrolled an Archimedean screw tractor, an enormous 11-ton vehicle that rode on two screw-shaped pontoons, resembling something taken from a sci-fi movie set. But that proved too slow and tedious. Next came the National Guard, who brought in two CH-54 Sky Crane helicopters that systematically dropped five-ton concrete bashers on the ice, mile after mile, so the journey to freedom could be accelerated. If you can believe it, then came the Russians. They arrived next, having dispatched two of their ships to the scene. One was a, was a mammoth 20-ton, 11-story tall icebreaker, and the other a small vessel with similar equipment. All political contrasts, economic differences, and military conflicts were set aside for this unusual moment so a couple of whales could be set free. Eureka! It finally happened at Point Barrow, Alaska. The world cheered as the exhausted creatures silently slipped out to sea. Now, you might wonder, where in the world am I going with bonnet and crossbeak? And I am happy to tell you. It occurred to me while watching the scene and reading of it in the periodicals, including the daily newspaper, how much trouble we will go to to set creatures free with whom we cannot even communicate intelligently. But how slow we are to set one another free from our own lists and inhibitions and restrictions and expectations. I mean, we will go to the trouble of spending over a million and a half over a three to four week period of time just to put whales in the ocean. And we will hardly cut each other enough slack to breathe freely in an area where we particularly may not agree. I will tell you, uh, if I had one wish that I could be granted, it would be the wish that there would be more grace shown within our ranks. That would be my wish. We all value our freedom, don't we? And yet, we aren't always that considerate when it comes to extending freedom to others. Wouldn't it be great if we set one another free from our restrictions and expectations? Are you known for your grace? Or do you expect those around you to live according to your lists and your rules? Extending grace sets others free, and that's a great way to live. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Life Track presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Looking Within, Allowing Grace to Flow Freely, was copyrighted in 2002, and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2010 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.